Okay everyone, so it's officially that time to peel and I figured that I would try something a little bit different and I'm going to be reviewing the Platinum Skincare Salicylic Acid Peel in 25%. So the salicylic acid in this company comes in two percentages, 15% and 25%. And this is gonna be a pH of 2.1 and the salicylic acid is gonna be ideal for those of you that have acne prone skin who have an acne issue, um, acne scarring, clogged pores, a lot of um, comedomes. It's gonna go in there and loosen them, so you're gonna see a lot of um, purging of skin imperfections. It makes extractions a lot easier after you peel. Of course, you're not gonna extract after you peel, but you're gonna do the peel, um, wait the two weeks, and then come back in for a follow-up um, facial, and then, then they can do in some extractions and then look at where we're at. But salicylic acid is an excellent chemical exfoliation to use when you wanna get rid of um, acne and uh, kind of manage it and I find that if you do a series of salicylic acid peels along with mandelic acid or even mix the two The combination is that much more amazing because both of them are heavy-duty antimicrobial and in addition to that they are also uh, Salicylic acid is lipophilic meaning that it loves lipids Loves fats and that is really good because it will go in deeper and it will penetrate a lot farther and quicker as opposed to your traditional AHA acids so with this peel, um, you may notice it might sting a little bit. You might notice um, a bit of frosting that is all normal with this type of peel. It will almost look like you have crushed aspirin on your face. And that is partly because um, salicylic acid is derived from the white willow bark, which is a close relative of aspirin. So it's pretty interesting how the active ingredient in that is what plays a role in it helping the skin to get rid of imperfections. Um, really good for oily skin too. So after you um, cleanse your face. I'm gonna go defat it now using the Peel Prep Solution A, which is really good for getting rid of excess oil and product that may still be on the skin. And obviously I'm doing this out with gloves, but you should put your gloves on. I saturate a cotton round and I just go right across. Ooh, the smell of alcohol is bad. I'm gonna do one more. So make sure I got all of the grease off my face. All right, now it's time to put on your gloves. I'm using Spa Essentials. They have a really good um, deal on them. Just cap this. And you can apply this with a fan brush or a um, gauze pad. I prefer to do a bit of both, so the gauze will actually kind of exfoliate a little bit and allow the peel to penetrate in deeper. While I can actually dip this in afterward and then apply it. But I find that when I'm filming, it is very difficult for me to do this because the last time I almost got it in my eye, and that's why I'm gonna do some of this with the gauze and I'm gonna finish the rest of it up with a brush off camera and I'll come back when it's time to neutralize. Comes this nice little bottle.
Hmm, this one's kind of funky. So I'm going to do one swipe across. Like so. Get around there. It does smell kind of strong. It does tingle a bit. All right, I'm gonna go process this for three minutes and then I'll be right back. All right, and this is what the frosting will look like. I know it looks scary, but don't be alarmed. Once you neutralize, it will all go away. Your face will be a little bit sunburned looking for about two or three hours. So I'm gonna do this overnight and get up and it should look a little bit um, dull and dry and you will get moderate to light flaking from this. So I'm gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna process this for about four minutes. I might decide to go it longer. I've done one of these peels up to 20 minutes and it was fine. So that's just what it looks like. You can even see on the glove, the part of the willow um, residue is on there. Um, hence the term white willow. So uh, give it a few minutes and then it'll be all back to normal. It did um, sting quite a bit. So if you are um, prone to pain, you may not like this peel or start at the 15 and work your way up. All right, so I processed this peel for a total of 20 minutes, which is the maximum time that you usually can do this. Um, this is not something I did overnight. I have experience at using these. So if you are new to peeling, start with three minutes and then work it up a few minutes. If you notice any extreme discomfort after about one to two minutes, it's time to rinse off the peel. The reason why the salicylic hurts a lot when you first put it on, it's because it's lipophilic, meaning that it's gonna really penetrate quickly and fast and deep, and you're actually feeling those molecules go in there. And that's also where you get this, I call it the, fall, the false frosting. It's not like a traditional frost that happens with a TCA peel or a coagulation, it's the deposit um, within the chemical, which is like that willowy bark thing. It almost looks like you have crushed aspirin and it comes right off after you neutralize and rinse. So after I do the neutralizer, I do a few splashes of cold water and it takes all that residue right off. So don't be scared by that. I'm gonna wet two of the cotton rounds with the neutralizing solution. And this is gonna shut the peel off. This is alkaline with a pH of eight. So ready, I'm gonna go one, two, and three. And if you guys see that dust that's falling off, that's all from the residue. And your face will be a little bit red after. Um, it's best to do this at nighttime because it will look like you have a little bit of a sunburn. Give it a few hours and it goes right away. And the flaking is very um, mild. It's not gonna be super dramatic. You can still go to work and function. It's not gonna be like the TCA peel where you look like a zombie for a week and a half to two weeks. This will be fully resolved within four to six days. And there is no irritation when applying the neutralizer whatsoever. You guys can see it's kind of hard to see this, but there's residue on here. It's kind of cool, but kind of gross at the same time. And I always wonder too, it's so interesting how healing ingredients like aspirin can um, soothe heartburn, but when you apply it to the skin, it uh, has a whole different function. It's like that weird chemistry thing, but it's kind of cool, at least I think. I always recommend to reading the um, My Lady's um, Advanced Aesthetic book if you are either a professional or a diehard um, beauty junkie. That gives you all the information that you need to know regarding heels. I think I got all of it off. And there is no pain whatsoever. My skin does feel a little dry, but that is totally normal. So um, I'm gonna wait for this redness to go down. I'll wake up and it should be gone by the morning. Follow up care with this peel. I always recommend using a sunscreen in general. Make sure you're using a sunscreen of at least um, 15 or 30 SPF. I do the 30 from Dermalogica. 
Use that daily to protect your skin. Avoid direct sunlight for the first three days. And when you are flaking, do not pick or scratch vigorously. If you want to help the process go quicker, use a hyaluronic acid serum or a intensive um, moisturizer, and that will help push the skin cells up. So I'll see you guys soon. I hope you like this video. And let me know down below if you guys use salicylic acid peels on yourself or your clients. So like, comment, hit the subscribe button down below if you like this video. And I'll see you guys next to hopefully review the Jessner's peel.